Hi all, this is Kara. I am a third year student at the law school and I will be graduating this year. Next year I'm going to be in Dallas practicing civil law um, and I am very excited to be home even though I am really sad that I am leaving Stanford after seven years. Um, so the thing that I love the most about Chi Alpha is that it is a widespread community and even though we don't all know each other super well we remember faces and we make each other feel welcome so the very first time that i went to chi alpha was actually seven years ago um, i was 18 i was a frosh uh, living in flomo a uh, part of SLE, and um the first person I actually met who went to Chi Alpha was a friend of mine from a different dorm. Um, and one Friday night we were out and um, we were going to go to a party and we ended up deciding not to go to the party and she said something about pancakes. And um, I didn't start coming to Chi Alpha until midway through my fall court or something like that. And um, so I say, okay, we'll go do pancakes or whatever. Um, and she takes me in and I am not expecting to know anyone. Um, and I don't other than my friend and I'm not, um, a super big first impressions person. Um, but the person who happened to be the vice president of Chi Alpha that year, Chelsea, um, immediately ran over and introduced herself to me and she has so much energy. She is a ball of energy and we ended up staying and giving out pancakes uh, for like two hours and I didn't really have a conversation with her or anything but I um, did know that um, she existed and then I didn't come back for another couple weeks. Uh, this time my friend Holly took me um, and Holly had been going to Chi Alpha for a while, and I said, okay, I'll come with you. Um, and I walk in the door, and immediately Chelsea bounds back up, um, remembers my name three weeks later, and um, even though I didn't know anyone there, it was a wonderful way to begin. Um, the second moment where I really felt Chi Alpha's community was um, in my first year of law school. So that year Stanford planted something that made allergy season really bad for everyone and I already have really bad allergies. And so I was at the point where I was coughing and sneezing all the time. Um, I had to walk around with a nice roll of toilet paper in my backpack. Um, I half the time would lose my voice and I wasn't sleeping because when you lay your head down and your sinuses are swollen, it means that you stop breathing. And so you keep waking up because you stop breathing. Well, um, there was a guy that I knew in Chi Alpha. I didn't know him super well, but I knew him well enough. And I was sitting next to him and that day Glenn asked us to pray for each other. And so he says, you know, can I pray for you? And I said, yeah, sure, you can pray for my allergies. Please, just pray that I can get some sleep tonight. Um, and this guy, Ryan, he starts praying for me. And immediately, my sinuses open up. Um, and I asked him, you know, well, what can I pray for you for? And he said... I've been feeling far from God. And so I prayed for him. Um, and then I told him what had happened. I said, even though you were feeling far from God today and for the period of time that you had been, um, you were able to bring healing because of your faith. Now, that was one of those times where you get to see God use you and you also get something from God. Um, and I think that most of the time when we serve God, it is that way. Sometimes it's not, but most of the time when we're serving God, things come to you and you're able to give those blessings to others. And so I really do encourage that of you. Um, the last thing I want to do is I want to pray for you. 
Um, I don't know who you are. I don't know where you're at, but I do know that prayers are meaningful and prayers are heard and answered. Um, so if you bow your head with me, Father, I thank you for the person on the other side of the screen. Um, I know that you created them and that you know each and every hair on their head. You know the worries that they have. You know their future. You know their past. And you love them both because of and in spite of it. Father, as they are continuing on either at Stanford or virtually or out in the world that you've created, I pray that they would be a light for you, that they would see your face and that others would see your face first when they look at them and then realize the glory of your creation and that they would bring others to you. In your son's name, amen. Bye, guys. Um, I hope that I get to see you again soon.